Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, your friendly neighborhood coach Pruitt here with you once again with our daily YouTube video. Today's video is covering March 3rd and 4th, that's Wednesday and Thursday of 2021. We're glad you guys are here once again. Uh, let's look at the screen and just take a quick glance at what we're going to be doing today. On the screen, you can see, as always, your uh, daily class schedule, the daily information, the things we put in the chat for you guys at the beginning of class, or the things that would be on the board if you were here in person. So your essential question for today, what types of reforms were created during the progressive era? So today we are going to continue our discussion on the progressive era. We're going to look at all of the actual legal actions and changes that are made to American politics and society based on the work of all those muckrakers that we've been looking at for the last couple of classes. Today is also the last day of content for our unit, so we will be finishing up unit number five today. We'll learn the last little bit of stuff that we need to learn before the test next week. We will also finish the last remaining task work activity today. So we're going to start to wrap up unit five. Uh, of course, tomorrow is an odd Friday. Sorry, I had to check my, my calendar to make sure. Tomorrow is an odd Friday. And so odd classes you will have tomorrow as a study and review day. Unfortunately, even classes, we don't see you the extra day this week, which means uh, I'll still put out study materials for all of you probably over the weekend, maybe Saturday and or Sunday. I'll send out a few things via Remind. So if you still haven't joined our Remind, you might want to do that just so you can get access to those things uh, and other announcements as we go forward for the remainder of the year. So you can see uh, on the schedule for today, we're going to recap muckrakers, go back over some of the things we've talked about the last couple of classes. We'll talk about another lady who's going to be really important. Uh, she's not technically a muckraker, but she's trying to make a bunch of social changes, and her name is Jane Adams. And then we'll also look at reform movements. We'll talk about conservationism. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll complete the last task work activity over those reform movements. And also we'll add our notes onto that as well. A couple of announcements here at the beginning of class. Make sure that you remember Monday and Tuesday of next week, so less than a week from now, is your test over unit number five. Uh, it will be odd classes except for first period on Monday and first period and even classes on Tuesday. So 3839, that's next Monday and Tuesday, test over unit number five. It is an online assessment. Uh, we're trying to make things as close to the EOC as we possibly can. Also, Illuminate is a good testing source because it allows Mr. Burroughs and I to pull data very quickly and very easily. We can see exactly what things you guys knew and did not know based on the standards, and it helps us tailor our EOC review in a few months. Or, well, I guess more like a month and a half. Uh, also, just a reminder that spring break is coming. Again, it's still quite a ways away. We've got five more weeks till we get there. Uh, but... It is close enough that I feel like we can put it on the calendar now and use it as something to cling to to get us through this next month. Uh, we do have some video clips for you guys today. Uh, most of these can be found in the unit number five playlist. We'll look at them later. Uh, again, these are never mandatory unless we tell you, hey, you have to go watch this clip. Those are few and far between. Mostly they're here just in case you want extra information. So let's look at what we're going to be doing today. So again, guys, as always, just a reminder that if you go to the second section of your Canvas page, you have the Tools and Resources section. This is where you can find things like the Google Slides, the YouTube playlist for the unit, the guided notes, the PowerPoints, and there's also the study guide here for Unit 5 should you want to start working on that. So all that being said, today we're going to use a mixture of uh, the guided notes and the standard 13 PowerPoint. Now, if you so choose, there is a Progressives uh, Google slide presentation. It is titled Progressives. Uh, you can look through this and it will give you some extra information over the Progressives and the Progressive Movement. Uh, we referenced this, this the other day when we talked about the Muckrakers. Uh, it basically breaks stuff down into very simple, straightforward, I mean, it's only 12 slides. So might not be a bad thing to look at as you review. Also remember that your Google or your guided notes, I'm sorry, your guided notes uh, are going to have all this information here. It's written in full sentences, paragraph form, which might not be the best way. Uh, but as we're working today, you can see that it lays out specifically each of these movements that we're going to focus on. So this might be a good place for you to get some of your information today. We also have the standard 13 PowerPoint. We'll be looking at the last letter of it, letter E. You can see it's slide number 19. So between all of these things, you have plenty of ways to get the information. 
Mr. Burroughs and I will be going over with you guys in class and discussing all of these political reforms and social reforms as well. But worst case scenario, if you're out for today, those are the places you can find the information to complete the task work and also get the content before your test. All right. So now let's talk about the assignment that we're going to do today. It is the last remaining task work assignment, which is great. So if you scroll down to the second section of your Canvas page and click on the unit number five module, it's going to take you into the module. The only uh, assignment we have not yet done or started in class is the Progressive Era Reforms Organizer. So if you will click there, uh, it will take you same as we always have, there's a blue download button up top. You can download this presentation to your computer. You can save it. You can type on it. You can edit it. You can highlight it. Uh, or you can set this up on your own piece of paper. It's not a big deal. You might just want to give yourself maybe three to four lines worth of space just to make sure you have plenty of room to write the information. Uh, so what we're going to look at is just these several changes that occurred during the progressive era. We'll talk about what they actually were and then why they were significant. We're also going to suggest today, guys, that you take your notes on this same piece of paper. So what I would probably do is either title my piece of paper if I was doing this by hand, or I would title my Google Doc or Microsoft Word document progressive era reforms. Then what we want you guys to do Like I said, we're going to talk about Jane Addams and Whole House, so you might just want to take a few notes about her. You can have your chart then uh, below that, and then under that, we're going to talk about cons uh, conservationism. And you can take your notes there, okay? So as we go through and we discuss as a class, we'll look at Jane Addams and Whole House, take some notes on her. We'll fill in this chart about these different uh, reform movements from this time period, we're again focusing on what they actually were, what they did, and then why it was significant or important, and then also talk about conservationism. Uh, one thing that you could do, especially if you're doing this electronically, take the information directly from your guided notes or directly from the PowerPoint, right? So for, uh, for instance, initiative uh, is basically where you allow the public to vote on some type of law to see if the law passes or does not. Uh, so again, feel free, guys. These are guided notes. I gave them to you. You could copy and paste this directly for the what, right? So initiative, the what, we put it in there, bada boom, okay? That's that's an option for, for you guys uh, on how to complete this. Uh, significance, again, is, is going to be important to us maybe as important as the what is why this is important. Uh, so if you're not with us during class, you're going to have to think about these things on your own. Obviously, in class together, we'll talk our way through them. Okay, so let's bring this to a close for today. It's a very straightforward day. It's going to be a lecture heavy day or a content heavy day. It is the last day of content for the unit. We'll try to get you guys done early if we can to give you some time to finish up any loose ends. Uh, odd classes, we'll see you all tomorrow for a work day. So you'll have the entire class period to finish up. Uh, even classes, you know, we'll try to get you guys maybe done a little faster just to give you a little bit of time. Uh, but you guys did have a work day last Friday as well. So plan for today. Again, we are going to finish up the content for unit number five. We'll talk about Jane Addams and Hull House. We'll talk about those reform movements from the progressive era. And we'll talk about conservationism. We'll finish the last task work activity. Uh, we'll have some video clips you guys can watch during class. Uh, and then... That'll bring unit number five content-wise to a close. Please remember, test is Monday and Tuesday. Task work is due uh, Friday the 12th by midnight. It shouldn't be a big deal because we've done all of the assignments in class together. I will have a video for you guys that I will put out Friday morning. It will be a basic summarization of all the task work activities just to remind you what we did for the task work uh, and make sure you can put it all together, maybe even before the test day. Uh, and again, guys, if you get all your stuff done and you're ready to submit it, you can submit it before the 12th. The 12th by midnight is the deadline. OK, uh, so that'll cover content for today. That'll wrap up our daily YouTube video. Uh, we love you guys. We'll see you guys during class. Uh, take care till then.